When taking a posterior periapical, use a yellow bite block and the rod with two bends with the prongs lying flat on the bench. Assemble it as follows. Use the yellow positioning ring and always make sure that when you look through the ring that your receptor is going to be centered right in the middle of the aiming ring. This is correct. This is not correct. And you can see that if you assembled your instrument like this, you would get a large cone cut. So always check this visually before proceeding. The way the instrument is assembled at the moment, we could take a periapical of the premolar or molar region of quadrant 2, like this, or quadrant 4, like this. To take a premolar or molar image of quadrant 1 or quadrant 3, you need to remove the bite block, assemble it like this, and then also remember to flip your ring round as well. Now we can take a periapical of quadrant 1, like this, or quadrant 3, like this.